Sick of not being able to get an AMD or Nvidia GPU still? Well, Player 3 has entered the game. Let's do this. Are you a champion in the making? Yeah, I mean, my mum always calls me a little champ, so... Then you need the new Corsair Champion Series K70 10 keyless keyboard to heighten your gameplay and really kick the competition's ass. So I'll be an even better gamer if I get one? Yes, thanks to the 8000 Hz Hyperpolin, a durable aluminium frame and a tournament mode switch that disables the macros and lighting for those intense gaming sessions. You'll be tearing up the battlefield in no time. Wow, I can't wait to show everyone my sick moves. Yeah! No, no, stop that. Stop that now and click the link in the description below. Seriously, stop dancing. <laughs> as far as we know, officially, AMD and Nvidia have completed their respected stacks of GPUs for their current product ranges, with Nvidia going all in with ray tracing across the 30 series with kind of budgets to suit everyone and AMD touting their 6000 series with everything from the 6600 XT to the beastly 6900 XT, bringing the fight to Nvidia and finally offering something for kind of every price point. Now, I can only really talk about what I see in the UK market because of where I live, but things are actually getting better. Just yesterday, we saw a huge drop on scan of 3060s, 3080s, 3080 Ti's and even 3090s. And all at a reasonable price point. The 3080 Ti Founders was available for quite a few hours at its rated MSRP of £1,049. So this is great news, but sadly not everyone has £1,000 to slap down on a shiny new GPU. And with components, it's so much like that old view of everyone wanting a Bugatti, but buying a Golf. And it's the same here. We all kind of want that top end, but we settle for something lower end. And that's exactly what Intel are aiming to do, if, the leak slide is anything to go by. So it's been on the map for what feels like an eternity, but Intel are drawing ever closer to their first mainstream graphics card release, and we couldn't be more excited. Hopefully you sense the sarcasm there. But in all honesty, is it going to be able to compete? And is it even going to be available in the first place? And what do we know about who it's going to actually be available for? Well, following a leaked slide from a Badoo user, it gives us a bit more confirmation that the proposed DG2 lineup of cards are going to be hitting in 2022, almost giving us an indication of the rumoured CES 2022 announcement in January, as well as where Intel are kind of lining their cards up in terms of competition from both AMD and Nvidia. Now, I always said from the start that if Intel wants to compete, I don't think that they can honestly do it on the high end. I also said that their first release is likely to be a bit meh, but it will teach them a lot about the process, the market, and kind of what they need to do to better themselves in the future. In all honesty, I'm stupidly excited to see what Intel do the second time round, because it's all still kind of a bit of a learning curve. And you gotta remember, Nvidia and AMD have had plenty of time to perfect it. And sometimes, even now, they still get it wrong. So according to the slide, DG2, at least at the start, will have two models, dubbed SoC1 and SoC2. But it's entirely possible to have more products in the stack at a later date, depending on obviously market reception, and of course to them all important sales. Now the top spec SoC1 appears to be lined up with the RTX 3070 and Radeon 6700 XT. But it's unclear whether this is on a performance level or a price level. I mean, you'd like to think it's going to offer similar or better performance for the same or similar price. Otherwise, kind of what the hell are Intel actually doing? So I guess anyone wanting fast paced 1080p or 1440p gaming is going to have even more choice come 2022. And also based on the information in the slide, it should technically run cooler and use less power based on the wattage figures displayed. But again, it's just kind of too early to tell. Now, while this is important stuff, for me, it's not actually the standout card, but instead, the so-dubbed SoC2 seems to be looking to stir the pot quite dramatically, aiming at the super budget-conscious mainstream market, aimed at the sub-$200 mark and the fact that AMD don't technically have any cards in their current product stack in this segment, and Nvidia still kind of relying on the older architecture 1600 series cards, seems that there could actually be a huge gap in the market for those wanting to get gaming at 1080p without breaking the bank. 
could this be a huge turning circle for Intel? I mean, they've not exactly been known to be the best value player in town, but this could be a huge move for them and allow them to make massive strides in a relatively unknown market for them. I mean, when looking at the general market reaction to Intel releasing GPUs, there's been a lot of chatter around pricing. Consumers have expressed their joy that you know, another player is finally entering the market, while kind of having reservations about the price tag that could follow. But if this slide is anything to go by, which while it looks official, it could just be smoke and mirrors, it definitely shows that not to be the case and that Intel could be offering one of the best GPUs from a price perspective that, well, frankly, that we've seen in a long time. Now, like I say, there's not really too much to go off here, and I'm sure that we will have more information as we actually get closer to CES 2022. Whether that be a physical event or digital is still kind of yet to be seen though. But I guess we will just have to wait. But do you know what you don't have to wait for? The eTechnics PC Maintenance Toolkit. With everything that you need to build, maintain and repair your PC, including an Allen key for tightening water cooling fittings, it's literally the only toolkit you'll ever need. Grab yours over on store.etechnics.com and hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know exactly what to do and I'll see you in the next one. See you later guys. Bye bye.